Now, Nasra, over to you. A very warm afternoon to everyone present here. I, Nasra Khan, along with my co-anchor, Jeremy Pradhan, welcome you all to the 27th day of this prestigious workshop on value addition, life skills, ethics, and human values convened by our HOI, Professor Dr. Pungun Ray. The process of learning and polishing abilities, competence, and knowledge in a particular field is referred to as skill development. To succeed in diverse disciplines, it takes constant learning, practice, and growth. A person's ability to adapt to changing environments, overcome obstacles, and effectively pursue their objectives depends on their ability to develop their skills. It is important for both personal and professional progress. Investing in skill development enables people to improve their competence and make a meaningful contribution to their chosen efforts, whether it is through the development of technical skills for a particular vocation or soft skills like communication and leadership. It's a continuous journey that encourages self-assurance, creativity, and adaptation, opening doors, new possibilities, and personal fulfillment. With this, we would like to proceed with the second last day that is 27th july 2023 of this 28 day workshop now i would like to call forth our lifelong learner professor dr kumkum ray she is currently director at amity university lucknow campus since she has been and most definitely still is very passionate about english languages only present importance and the expansion of the knowledge the language holds to wherever still its absence is felt. She drafted the modules and course curriculum for various subjects for the value added mandatory courses of Amity University, Uttar Pradesh. Along with authoring Global English for graduate students and being the chief editor of literature, language, and communication, an essential trident, she has been a guide to eight PhD scholars, has convened multiple conferences and workshops on languages, literature, and communication for faculty and students of higher studies. For being a voracious reader and an extraordinary writer, led up to publication of her research papers and her remarkable anthology of poems, Breathe Free, Flow Free. A quote out of my creation, may I hope, serve for the definition of what an entity our esteemed Professor Dr. Kumkum Dre is. Where a personality with holding integrity and diligence is in itself an embodiment is where holds those the pillars of a successful establishment. You are the embodiment of exceptionality and the pillars who holds the bedrock, the establishment of the establishment you created. Ma'am, I request you to oblige us with few of your valuable words and knowledge. A very good afternoon to dear Pooja Varma, ma'am, for having spared her precious time to share her knowledge on this platform. I welcome all the participants, and I'm sure her words with you will carry a long way in the progress of your value addition. So thank you participants, thank you students, and I am really indebted to Pooja Varma ma'am for having shared this platform to add to the knowledge quotient of our participants. Thank you so much, Pooja ma'am. Thank you so much ma'am for giving me this opportunity <laughs> to interact with your students. And you are always been my guiding light. And hearing <laughs> Pooja you. from your mouth is a little awkward for me. <laughs> yes, I agree. Continue. A wise person once said, creativity is seeing what everyone else has seen and thinking what no one else has thought. Creativity is indeed not about coming up with new ideas out of thin air. Instead, it is about taking things that we already know and seeing them in a new way. It's about being able to connect the dots in a way that no one else has thought of before. With this, I would like to invite 
Professor Pooja Verma, who is currently the director of ASFP and ASFA department, that is Amity School of Fashion Technology and Amity School of Fine Arts at Amity University, Lucknow. Ma'am has an experience of 18 years in the field she currently holds the position of director in, which certainly leads up to success which she holds today. I would like to call her forward to enlighten us all with a few words on skill development. We advise you to be attentive throughout this insightful session by Professor Uja Verma. Toward the end of the session, all the participants will be required to make answers to a few questions based on the talk. Only after the submission of the assignments will you be eligible to receive the certificate of participation. All the best. With this, I would like to invite Ma'am forward to enlighten us all on address on creativity. Over to you, Ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me share my presentation. Is it visible? The slide is visible? Yes, ma'am, it is. I'll put it on a slide mode. Is it OK, everyone? Yes, ma'am. OK, so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to interact with you all students of uh, Amity School of Languages. And uh, thank you, Kum Kum ma'am, for inviting me for this lecture. So my today's topic is skill development. And uh, remember, since it's a workshop, so I'll be asking a few questions. I want the students to answer at least five answers for each questions. So my first question is, what do you know about it, skills and what skills you have right now? Any student? Students, I'm waiting. Yes, participants, please be proactive. That's a simple question ma'am is asking you. <laughs> no answer. Ma'am, in my case, I'd say the skills that I possess are public speaking. I'm a very good speaker, I'd say. Okay. And yeah, it's a good skill. Public speaking is a very good skill required for today's generation. Good. Anybody else? Nobody. So it will come be on, a one participants. Show. No, come on, participants. You've been through so many uh, workshop uh, days and you have learned how you can emerge as a leader or as one who's in his or her own place made a mark yeah. and you have so many qualities. Please share. Chalo, okay, I'll continue because I think they're not ready to answer right now. Chalo, no issues. So first of all, what is skill? So as you know, key skill is the ability to use one's knowledge effectively and readily in execution of work or performance. It means that when we are learning something to do a particular work, that is called a skill. Every day we cook in the kitchen, that is not a skill. But when we cook for uh, some party or when we uh, I mean, start a restaurant, then it will be considered as a cookery skills. So that is how we can define skill. A skill is a learned ability to act with determined result, with good execution, often within an amount of time and energy. Like I'll give you a few examples. Cricket is a game of skill. Then navigation is difficult and required a lot of skills. Then again, cooking is a very useful skill. Nowadays, the boys and girls are equally in cooking. Then we have uh, people have excellent social skill as well. And one more thing. 
a same skill can be used for your personal in enhancement or for your professional purposes also. Like uh, again, I'll give you the same example of cooking I gave you earlier. Ki when you are cooking for your family, it is your cookery skill. But when you are uh, cooking, I mean, using starting a restaurant, then it will become your professional skill. So this is the skill. Now, what is skill development? Means everybody has something or the other skills, but you have to develop them to make you earn through that skill. So acquiring an ability or capacity through sustained and systematic efforts to carry out a complex activities or job function smoothly and adaptively is terms as skill development. Means that whatever you do, do it smoothly and accurately. When you do it, and its result is positive, aega, then it will be termed as skill development. Then skills are not luxury. In today's world, as you know, ki, there are so many, it's called a VUCA world. So much uncertainty is there. So these skills have become our needs. We need to scale ourselves in various uh, platforms wherever we find ourselves suitable. Even in basic lifestyle, some living skills are needed like uh, interpersonal skills. Our daily life, mein, how we talk to, how we talk to our parents, how we deal with our siblings, how we deal with uh, our friends, all these skills are important. Thus, it becomes equally important to work on these skills and make survival even more effective. Then, in today's country, uh, the um, new economies, they are totally, I mean, uh, they are emphasizing on skill development and acquiring good knowledge. Then, Skill development is no longer a matter of choice. Abhi ye nahi hai ki hamara man kiya to kare, man kiya to nahi kare. Abhi ye hai ki hamari ek survival technique hai. Agar hume is world mein survive karna hai in a positive manner, in a good, uh, with a good earning, then we need to have a skill. We work in an era where adapting skill is now inevitable to succeed in the years to come. Then in a fundamental way, skill development for learner could mean four things. Now, you can think of it in four ways. One is the skill or knowledge you acquire as your part of academic qualification. Like uh, in fashion technology, the girls are learning, I mean the students are learning, they are getting trained for fashion. Then any other skill you invest in to stay future ready. Now, if you are good at your tech savvy, if you are good at computers, if you are good at handling all the software, then you are making yourself future ready. because even today, everything is generated online. We have so much knowledge. Mobile job is in our hands. If you remember, there is a tagline of Reliance. Karlo dunya mutti mein. So really now, dunya hamari mutti mein rehti hai na form of mobile. Because the entire world we can Google. So this is how we have to be future ready. Then any skill you pursue as a passion, like. Um, for example, somebody is want to be a singer. So singing is their passion. So they have to, if they pursue it further, then you are pursuing your passion. Then natural behavior strengths. And if you have good interpersonal skills, then naturally your behavior will improve. Then in simple term, identifying the skill gap and making efforts is known as skill development. So you have to work on yourself that you have to lack what you are and which area you have to improve. Then you can choose your skills, whichever you want. Then it is further divided into three. We have cognitive skills, we have technical, and we have interpersonal skills. So I'll tell you in little in detail. So cognitive skills is a set of certain ability that are part of every human action while we are awake. It means it is mainly connected to our brain. The, the work which we do while we are awake, it is the ability to understand complex ideas, adapt effectively the environment, and learn from experience and reason. So working with your cognitive skill will always be beneficial for you. In a class of 50, 10 students excel. They are Something is wrong. Light gay theory. 
There was an interruption. You can continue now. We will wait for the interruption to end. Am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. You are audible. Yes, ma so I was talking about the cognitive skills. So uh, yeah, I was telling you in a class of 40, because of good cognitive skills, the first 10 will be a 90 percent. Then 20 will be a mediocre and 10 will be a Below uh, below average. So why it is like this? Because of their cognitive skills. So in a essence, when cognitive skills are strong, learning is fast and easy. So those who are in a ninety percent, their cognitive skills are very strong. And conversely, when cognitive skills are weak, learning becomes a challenge. So the uh, uh, below average students they have a weak cognitive skills. Then second kind of skill is a technical or hard skills. These technical skills are qualities acquired by using and gaining expertise in performing certain hard skill or technical skills. There are these are measurable as writing, reading, doing maths or using computer programs. And usually they are job specific and uh, very much in demand these days. So hard skills are also called a technical skills. Any skill relating to specific tasks and with array, again it is disconnected. Something is wrong. The slide is visible now. Slide is visible. Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Okay, okay. So uh, I was talking about the hard skill or a technical skill. They involve method, purpose, procedures, or techniques. Like few examples, data analysis is a technique, then programming is a technique, accounting, engineering, they are all techniques. Then in design domain, automobile learning, automobile designing is a technique, apparels, jewelry, the website designing, they are all technical hard skills. And there are labor skills like electricians, masons, carpenters, bakers, blacksmiths, yes, sir, be in key technical skill hai, and they are economically productive because they are uh, looking after the family only because of these skills. Then third comes the interpersonal skill or soft skill. See, our regular life, mein, day to day life, mein, these skills are very important. When we interact with our family, when we interact with our parents, when we interact with our friends, our teachers, our mentors, so these skills are very important. In simple terms, the soft skill are all about how you do your work and if you understand emotional intelligence, these skills commonly include leadership, time management, self-control or teamwork. Then interpersonal skills are the behavior and technique a person uses to interact with others effectively. And then there is a study according to LinkedIn learning data 
मैनेजर स्पेंड थर्टी परसेंट मोर टाइम लर्निंग सॉफ्ट स्किल देन एवरेज लर्नर तो दो आर इन टॉप पोजिशन दो आर मैनेजर और बॉसेस तो दे स्पेंड थर्टी परसेंट मोर टाइम देन द एवरेज लर्नर और अ रेगुलर पर्सन सम ऑफ दीज स्किल्स आर परसुएशन कोलेबोरेशन अडेप्टेबिलिटी और इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस सो दीज आर इंटरपर्सनल और सॉफ्ट स्किल्स फॉर यू दीज आर हाईली रेलिवेंट स्किल्स बिकॉज अगर आप हम लोग कहते हैं ना कि इससे बात करने में अच्छा लगता है और इसको वी वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड तो वाई दिस इज ओनली रीजन बिकॉज जिससे बात करने में आपको अच्छा लगता है शी और ही इज है गुड इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स और सॉफ्ट स्किल और जिससे बात करने में आपको अच्छा नहीं लगता है जिसको आप अवॉइड करते हो तो दे लैक दीज स्किल्स तो दिस इज हाउ दीज पर्सनल स्किल्स आर नाउ यू हैव टू डेवलप स्किल हम लोग पैदा होते हैं ब्लैंक तो रेगुलरली वी आर डेवलपिंग आर स्किल्स so a skill set refers to a individual range of ability and skills that they can apply to acquire or perform a job well these can include both personal or professional skills so if you follow these tips which is given below so you can develop your skills in a quite nice manner the first is identifying your skill gaps hum log sabko pata hai ki hamari personality mein kya lack karta hai aur kis cheez ko hame develop karna hai so first ten foremost is you have to identify the skill gaps then secondly there are core skills and secondary skills in a upcoming slide i'll explain all this then finding a mentor mentor is a very important person in your life because whenever you are in a trouble whenever you need some help or guidance you always go to a mentor and mentor could be can be your parents they can be your elder sibling or maybe your teacher maybe your senior mentor can be anybody jisse aapka uh, i mean uh, repo acha ho wohi aapka mentor ban sakta hai aur aapko guide proper guide kar sakta hai then make checkpoints ab aapne koi bhi suppose uh, for any skill like for driving you have join a driving school to wo to 15 din ka aapko course kara denge aur aapko wo bhi dilwa denge dl bhi dilwa denge lekin आपने कितना अच्छा ड्राइविंग सीखा है ये आप खुद जानते हो तो यू हैव टू मेक योर चेक पॉइंट लाइक वाइल यू आर रिवर्सिंग योर वहीकल कितना स्मूथली आप उसको कर रहे हो या आप स्लोप पे जा रहे हो तो हाउ वेल यू आर कंट्रोलिंग योर वहीकल या रेन में अगर आप ड्राइव कर रहे हो तो वेदर इट इज इजी फॉर यू टू ड्राइव इन रेन और नॉट तो दीज आर योर चेक पॉइंट एंड देन लास्ट इज कीप हॉर्निंग योर स्किल्स मतलब ये है कि कुछ सीख के आप बैठ नहीं सकते हो कि नहीं नाउ इट्स ओवर आई हैव लर्न सो मच नो एवरी डे इज अव लर्निंग तो यू हैव टू कीप हॉर्निंग योर स्किल्स सो फर्स्ट वन वॉज आइडेंटिफाइंग योर स्किल गैप्स एज आई टोल्ड यू कि आप किसी और को आपको बताने की जरूरत नहीं है आपको खुद पता है कि आप में क्या चीज लैक कर रही है और अदरवाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परस्यू सम करियर तो उस करियर में जाने के लिए वॉट स्किल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड so this is how you will identify ki what skill you need then uh, start with a core or secondary skill suppose aapne core skill soch liya ki aapko for example say some example uh, a public speaking as one of the girls said she she is good in public speak, speaking so if you want to have a career in public speaking uh, area so your uh, core skill will be कि हाउ यू इंटरक्ट आपका वोकेबलरी कैसा है आपकी लैंग्वेज कैसी है ये सब आपको सीखना है एंड आपकी सेकेंडरी स्किल क्या होंगी कि आप किस तरह से टेक्स हैवी हो रहे हो किस तरह से आप कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम देख रहे हो विथ वेब एप्लीकेशन देख रहे हो बिकॉज आज सो आजकल सोशल मीडिया का ही जमाना है सो यू कैन नॉट अवॉइड दैट सो आई हैव गिवन वन एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर then your core skills would be public speaking motivating techniques etc and in order to stand out in the market like there are many pub, motivational speakers but what happens ki koi koi aisa hota hai jiske followers they are too many in thousands so what is the reason of so many followers because he or she has a good secondary skills of uh, social media web application और किस तरह से वो इंटरेक्ट करते हैं मे बी उनकी इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स आर बेटर देन द अदर तो दीज विल बी योर सेकेंडरी स्किल्स देन फाइंडिंग अ मेंटर यू यू कैन सी टू वर्ल्ड ग्लोबली फेमस मेंटर्स 
द फर्स्ट वन इज चाणक्य एंड चंद्रगुप्त चंद्रगुप्त का एंटायर करियर वॉज ही फॉलोड चाणक्य टू द की चाणक्य ने जो उनको बोला ही रिलीजियसली फॉलो एंड द सेकेंड पिक्चर इज अलेक्जेंडर एंड दोक्रिटीज तो ये दोनों मेंटर और उनके मेंटीज हैं जो कि सब एवरीबडी नोज तो एज आई टोल्ड यू की फाइंडिंग अंटर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस लाइक विदाउट मेंटर वेन वी आर इन ट्रबल वेन वी डोंट नो हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट वेन यू आर इन ट्रबल और यू आर फेसिंग लॉर्ड्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम लाइफ इज अनप्रडिक्टेबल एनी डे एनी प्रॉब्लम कैन कम तो इमीजिएटली आपको क्या लगता है यू वॉन्ट समन टू लिसन टू यू जिसके सामने आप अपनी बात कह सकते हो जिसके सामने यू कैन अनवाइंड योर सेल्फ तो दैट इज अंटर मेंटर क्या होता है जब हम छोटे बच्चे होते हैं तो हमारे पेरेंट्स हमारे मेंटर होते हैं वेन वी ग्रो वी देन आर एल्डर सिबलिंग्स आर मेंटर देन स्कूल फ्रेंड्स टीचर्स एंड वेन यू आर वेन वी आर इन अ प्रोफेशन देन आर बॉसेज आर आर मेंटर्स सो मेंट इन आर लाइफ एवरी स्टेज ऑफ आर लाइफ वी नीड अ मेंटर एंड वॉट हैपन्स वेन वी गेट मैरिड हमारे बच्चे होते हैं तो हम उनके मेंटर बन जाते हैं तो दिस इज हाउ द साइकिल कंप्लीट्स तो मेंटर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन आर लाइफ देन मेक अ चेक पॉइंट एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर ऑल्सो गिविंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ड्राइविंग कि आपको अपनी जो भी स्किल्स आप लर्न कर रहे हो तो टाइम टू टाइम यू हैव टू चेक योर सेल्फ की हाँ यू हैव लर्न दिस हाउ वेल यू हैव लर्न दिस स्किल और अगर नहीं उतना अच्छा आ रहा है तो यू कंटिन्यू योर एफर्ट बिकॉज प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ मैन परफेक्ट तो जितना आप प्रैक्टिस करोगे अपनी चीजों को उतना ही आपका स्किल डेवलप होगा प्रॉपरली Then keep honing your skills. As I told you, the world is not only changing every moment, but it is evolving also. So you have to keep an eye on changes happening all across the world, and you understand and realize the need of, excuse me, need for an update in your skills, and we call it a honing your skills. So, अभी आपने देखा कि computers कभी आपको ज्यादा पॉपुलर हुए अभी थर्टी थर्टी फाइव ईयर से बहुत ज्यादा पॉपुलर हो गया है एंड एवरी एज यू नो कि एवरी सिक्स मंथ्स टेक्नोलॉजी चेंजेस हमारे मोबाइल फोन चेंज हो जाते हैं एवरी सिक्स मंथ्स न्यू कार्स कम अप न्यू मॉडल ऑफ कार कम अप तो उसी तरह से हमारे सॉफ्टवेयर्स भी पहले हमको पता था कि सिर्फ कोरल ड्रॉ और फोटोशॉप है नाउ देर आर इन डिजाइन देर कम्पेशर देर इलेट्रेटर देर आर लॉट मेनी न्यू तो वी हैव टू अपडेट आर स्किल्स and throughout your life you can keep acquiring new skill abhi aisa nahi ki aapne you have learned how to do a computer programming and you sit and relax no that is not correct you have to keep on evolving yourself keep on learning new things because a lifelong learner is only person who excels in life to aapki aapko learning process kabhi bhi band nahi karna it it is a continuous uh, i mean process then skill required for professional life so now after your course is complete definitely you will go in some profession so as you start climbing a career ladder pehle aap uh, trainee ki tarah se join karte then slowly team manager then manager then bosses like that and as you reach to the top your com- complexity will increase so you have to manage the professional dynamics build relationship and manage your juniors also so it's a very tough task so you have to pick up your skill as you gain experience and go with the flow that is not correct agar aap ye soch rahe ho ki okay during my process of my career i will slowly slowly learn with experience no that is not correct you have to if you are not you know yourself ki what is good for you and what you need to upgrade yourself so that is very important ki you keep on upgrading yourself and in a profession is it's even more sorry in a profession professional life it is even more important to acquire good skills and keep on developing it then being a job specific these skills will help you to shape a better future for yourself your families and your communities also in this constantly evolving economy not having proper skill could have a certain negative impacts as well so i'll share some uh, facts about skill development as per un reports one in five young people are neat that is 
not in employment, education or training across the world. And three out of four young needs are women. Then almost two out of five youth employees in emerging and developing economies like India live on less than 1,000 a day. And globally, a youth population grew by 139 million between 1997 to 2017. But the youth labor force shrank by 58.7 million. So this is all the data and which shows key skill development so important for uh, today's world. Then uh, in today's uh, times, the front page pe news that there is a skill development course become mandatory for the jail. Ki, jo, jail, jail mein log hote hai, jab wo jail se bahar aate hai, to unke liye eight professional course karna mandatory ho gaya hai. This news is in today's Times top main page pe. So this is how things are ki uh, skill development has become so important. So in professional skill, you have to be tech savvy as I told you ki abhi bina technology ke nothing moves. In each and every aspect, we need to be I mean, easy with our technology. We should know what is, how to manage computer, how to go to Google, how to Google new has come, chat GPT, uspe kaise kaam kare. There are so many AI, AI hai, artificial intelligence, uspe kaise work kare. There are so much and every day it is evolving. So you cannot ignore the potential impact of technology on your career. Aapka koi bhi career ho, kuch bhi aap kar rahe ho. You have to be tech savvy. Then technology is imparting every profession, including support functions as HR, finance, administration. They are, which is hugely affected. In HR, mein abhi sab kuch jo hai wo database ho gaya hai. Finance mein bhi jo ye apka e-commerce hai. To ye sab technology pe hi run karta hai. So it is very important in all these uh, areas also. So not to mention the impact on client-facing role, like lawyers. Kyunki Lawyer ko bhi agar kisi bhi apne case pe work karna hai, to pehle ke time pe to pure unki ek, what, I mean, uh, library hoti thi, purane purane books work karte the. But nowadays what they do, they just do on computers. Purana purana case, they can, just one second. Hello? I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later, I'm in a meeting right now. Haan, to, um, as I told you ki, Technology is so important in everything. So there are some uh, certification courses which can help you in your industry and they are the best investment. So if you don't have a way to do it, if you can develop skill in free, kar sakte ho, you can join some certification course. And there are plenty of uh, courses available. So investing early in social media marketing skill to stay future ready is a good example. So investing in behavioral skill development skills. So ye to sabhi ko pata hai ki behavior matters. Aapka na monetary status matters, na aapki, kabhi kabhi aapki education bhi utna matter nahi karti hai, jitna aapka behavior matter karta hai. So it is very important. At one start, climbing a ladder, complexity increases. You have to manage the professional commitment, build relationship, and manage senior and junior colleagues. And all these things are going to be taxing for someone who's not really ready. Matlab ki aapko apne boss se kaise baat karna hai, apne junior se kaise baat karna hai, there is a vast difference. So you have to, I mean, develop that kind of a skill ki jis bhi uh, platform pe baat kar rahe ho. you make yourself comfortable and give a proper conversation so that is very important then behavior skill can help you to develop professionally skills related to your behavior and how you form relationship with people can be an important component for your personality as i told you earlier also ki aapka jo behavior skills hai, they are number one they are on the top of skill development ki behavior matters if you go anywhere, if your behavior is good, people will stop and listen to you. But if your behavior is very haughty in nature, or you are not listening to someone, you are quite bossy, so they won't, in front of you, they will say like this, but as soon as you turn your back, excuse me, they will 
still uh, take many names. So just to avoid that in each uh, field of your career, each step of your career, you need to be bravely, uh, I mean, uh, expert. You can invest towards achieving behavioral excellence in your field, like a course in organizational behavior. There are so many skill enhancement courses available online right now. Ki aap usme jao and you can, because you need a professional guidance. So this is how you can develop your skills. And communication skills, Pum Pum Ma'am is the best example. Ki communication ke bina to dunya chalti nahi hai. Communication is important. So either you are in a professional life or you are in a personal life. Communication skills matters and it has to be uh, excellent communication skill. And when you are in a job, in your profession, then it is even more important. So being able to communicate well can help build strong interpersonal relationship at work and can also help convey messages easily. And along with able to communicate verbally, non-verbal communication is equally important for professionals to succeed. Like professionals should know how to write mails, how to create reports, make memos and exchanging ideas through messages. Abhi to sab kuch mobile and computer pe hota hai na, to aapki non-verbal communication should be equally good with your other normal communication skill. Then your leadership skill. Naturally, sabhi jo bhi kisi bhi profession mein jata hai, their aim is to reach to the heights, to the top of that company. To you need to have a leader skill in your career. As you get into some career, start acquiring these skills. They may be eventually start leading term as uh, leading teams as a in a company or a company. And then it becomes a responsibility of a leader to ensure that the company and team is productive and efficient. If leadership is strong, if your boss has a good leadership skill. company do do boss was like Neetha, leadership was lacking in the boss. So company do pay. So if you want to excel in your professional life, you need to have a proper leader, leadership skill. Then only you will reach to the top. And for this, it is important to motivate your team members, inspire them to do better, help them to identify areas improvement, create actionable plans and recognize their efforts. This is very important. Suppose um, your junior has come, has done some small effort to improve his work. So it is a duty of a boss or it's a good leadership skill if you recognize their effort and if you praise them, it will naturally elevate the person. And this requires professionals to develop their leadership skill by following other successful leader. Aap jab kisi bhi job mein jaate ho, to aapka jo boss hai. Agar if he or she has a good leadership skill. So certainly you're watching your boss and you can develop those skills by watching them or identifying with their ideas and how they operate. So you can develop this skill by joining leadership training courses designed for professionals. There are a lot many courses I told you earlier also are available. So you can join any of the course to enhance your skills. Then organizational skills are very important. So Kisi bhi organization mein aap hai, to you need to, I mean, uh, your, uh, organize your company or your uh, team in such a manner that it's give results. So organizational skills can help professional improve their productivity and efficiency by streamlining their workflow. These skills are self-motivation, mental organization, time management, etc. So the professional can apply these skills to manage their schedule, prioritize tasks, allocate resources, etc. Even though professionals may lead team, but it is important for them to work in team also. But the if, uh, first step, so you will be a, under your boss. Later on, you may become a boss, but your first step will be always under a boss. So your organization skills are very important in each of the steps of your professional life. Then problem solving skill again. In every business, in every profession, mein, there are a lot many problems. So as a boss, if you don't have these skills in problem solving, ki, to things will not work for you. Because uh, boss always appreciate a person who always come with a solution. 
along with the problem come with the solution so you need to hone your skill of problem solving also to be uh, in a great uh, heights in your uh, selected field these includes analytical skills communication skill emotional intelligence resilience creativity adaptability and team work aap team ke sath hi apni problem solve kar sakte ho akele ek jana kuch bhi nahi kar sakta when you are in a some profession to naturally you have a team तो आपका ये बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है कि आप टीम के साथ अपनी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करो और एज अ बॉस अगर आपकी टीम कोई प्रॉब्लम आपके सामने लेके आती है तो यू शुड बी इन अ पोजीशन टू गिव द सोल्यूशन टू द प्रॉब्लम देन अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सोशल एंड इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स इसको बार बार कहने से कोई फायदा नहीं है बिकॉज दे आर ऑलवेज आपका घर पर्सनल लाइफ हो प्रोफेशनल लाइफ हो आपका कुछ भी हो फ्रेंडशिप के फ्रेंड्स के साथ हो आप तो बट इंटरपर्सनल स्किल एंड सोशल स्किल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन ईच फेयर ऑफ योर लाइफ इट मे बी योर इमोशनल एंड इंटेलिजेंस मेंटेनिंग आई कांटेक्ट योर बॉडी लैंग्वेज योर फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन एंड वर्ड्स वाइल कम्युनिकेटिंग विद अदर्स कभी कभी ये होता है कि आप बॉडी लैंग्वेज सेज एवरीथिंग और योर फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन क्योंकि हम कभी किसी से मिलते हैं तो लगता है कि we don't feel like talking to other person why because our non verbal communication is not there maybe some vibes are not there people say na usse vibe nahi milti meri so these are kind of a thing which you can i mean uh, through your proper skill enhancement you can do uh, enhance yourself so social skills help to conduct ourselves in a right way especially in a professional spaces like job interviews team meetings working with team or client meeting इन सब में आपकी सोशल एंड पर्सनल स्किल्स बहुत मैटर करता है तो यू नीड टू हैव एक्सेल इन दीज काइंड ऑफ स्किल्स देन व्हाई स्किल व्हाई वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट स्किल एनहांसमेंट बिकॉज नाउ डेज एज यू हैव हर्ड मोदी जी स्किल इंडिया स्किल एनहांसमेंट लॉट मेनी थिंग्स आर देयर तो देर इज अ स्किल इंडिया कैंपेन दिस कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव कैंपेन इन encompasses various government initiatives such as national skill development mission national policy for skill development and entrepreneurship then pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana skill loan scheme etc and see the logo the skill india logo depicts a clenched hand in which a spanner and a pencil are formally held so this is the logo of skill india kaushal bharat kushal bharat so there is lot many emphasis on skill india campaign so why does india need a skill in development programs so as of uh, 2014 report india's formally skilled workforce is just 2% and additionally there is a huge problem of employability among the educated workforce of the country matlab ye hai ki educated log to hamari country unemployment you know it is there and only through your skill enhancement you can i mean overcome this problem because educated youth are there but they lack the skill so skills is very important for them the high level of unemployment is due to lack of vocational or professional skills in a youth excuse me to adapt to the changing demand and technology of a marketplace casual workers who constitute about 90% of labor force are poorly skilled as they know they do not have a adequate training and current vocational training programs do not meet that demand so it is like this ki hamare pa workers to hain but just because they lack a proper skill so they are not getting the proper wages so it's kind of a harassment for them matlab wo apne aap ko nahi although they have a ability to work but because they are not properly skilled to wo kaam proper se nahi ho pata hai then changing technology is a big challenge and opportunity for the labor force so employees should have to constantly upgrade their skills if they want to remain relevant in the job market so as i told you earlier also ki ye employees jitne bhi hain unko apna skill enhancement karte rehna hai to remain in re relevant job because for one of your job there are hundreds are waiting and if you do something wrong if you are not i mean you are not uh, going along with the uh, ever changing world or technology to kya hoga aapki space ke liye koi aur aa jayega jo ki zyada skilled person hai so you have to upgrade your skills if you want to continue with your job 
एंड देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लैक ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन करेंट ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट अभी ये भी है कि अभी आपको हर गली हर सड़क में कोई ना कोई ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट मिल जाएगा लेकिन वहां क्या है वहां इट्स जस्ट मनी मिंटिंग रैकेट क्योंकि ना प्रॉपर वहां पे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है ना प्रॉपर ट्रेनर्स हैं तो जो बच्चे भी मे बी उनका आई मीन फीस लेस लेकिन उसका कोई फायदा नहीं है जो भी बच्चे वहां जाएंगे जब उनका ट्रेनर ही नहीं अच्छा है तो वो क्या स्किल लेके वहां से आएंगे तो इट इज नॉट करेक्ट मे बी एंड दो स्टूडेंट विच आर गोइंग टू दीज इंस्टीट्यूशन तो दे आर नॉट गेटिंग अ प्रॉपर जॉब ऑल्सो सो जस्ट टू अवॉइड ऑल दिस This skill India mission is there. So, what is the Skill India campaign? Is initiated with the objective to train more than forty crores people in India in different skills. And Skill India campaign was launched by Honorable PM Shri Modi ji on fifteen July two thousand fifteen. And Skill India logo depicts a clenched hand in which spanner and a pencil are held. These depict the empowerment through these skills. the spanner is a universal tool symbolizes a role that skill plays in unlocking the human potential whereas a pencil represent the general education matlab ye bhi hai ki aapki education and skill both are equally important aisa bhi hai ki aap sirf skill aapke paas hai aur education nahi hai then also you are lacking in something or if you are educated with no skill then also you are lacking in something so the juxtaposition of pencil and spanner put skill and general education at parity the rising sun behind the spanner and a pencil represent the rise of india as a nation with the use of skills and education and a tagline is also in devnagari script which reads koshal bharat kushal bharat and what are the objectives of skill india campaign so the chief objective of skill india mission is to ensure and provide market relevant skills training to more than 40 crores young people in country you know india is a young country in another uh, decade the number one young country will be india's aur ab ka jo british hai ya us hai uk hai ye sab old matlab 60 plus wala majority hoga whereas in india it is 30 40 mein aapki majority hogi so we will be we are calling it a young india so closing a gap between skill required by the industry and the skill people possesses for employment generation then another objective i mean objective is reducing poverty in a country nationally when we have a skilled laborers everything skilled then poverty will reduce people will learn earn more then increasing the competitiveness of indian businesses who skilled employed nationally this company mein ya this organization mein skilled employed zyada honge profitability wahan pe zyada hogi and they can be the at the top in their relevant area then ensuring that skill training imparted is relevant of a good quality ye bhi ek bahut bada objective hai ki just not for the sake of skills we are doing something it has to be along with the proper and relevant knowledge then preparing indians to take on a global global manpower and resources market and uh, building actual competencies rather than giving people mere qualifications so again and again it is emphasized that qualification along with skills both are equally important and offering opportunities for lifelong learning for developing skills this is the objective of skill india campaign and what is the vision statement 2020 हेलो हाँ फिर लाइट चली गई अगेन हाँ हाँ चलो
to i was talking about the vision statement so the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship vision 2025 adopts an ecosystem enabling lens to transition india into a high skill equilibrium and help create positive outcome for individual enterprises and the economy the three outcome to be achieved through vision is enable individual economic gain and social mobility create a skill market that is learner centric and demand driven and facilitate aspirational employment and entrepreneurship generation overall productivity for enterprises and to catalyze economic growth this is the vision statement of 2025 with this i end my presentation and i think the It was our privilege to listen to our eminent speaker, Ms. Pooja Verma, but the workshop won't serve its purpose if the audience would be in doubts and confusion. We are opening the platform for everyone for a question and answer session to ensure we clarify everybody's doubts and see if our audience has to say something. You may raise your hands or write in the chat box in order to get an, an opportunity to speak. The platform is all yours. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Bamini, unmute yourself. Uh huh. No, still not audible. Unmute yourself. Still not audible. Shraddha, can you hear her? No, audible she can put her. She can put her question in the uh, chat, chat box. box she can write on the chat box. Right. In the meantime, I'm feeling so sorry because it was uh, disrupted three, four times because of the fluctuation of light, electricity. Yes, this is. This is the drawback of <laughs> rely, relying on connectivity issues. I know. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ah, uh, now, yeah, tell me, ma'am. My question to you is that uh -huh. uh, I have a general question that uh, skill development, like uh, I have. Like everyone, each one of us have some or the other skill, and right. we have some hidden skills also, which right. uh, you know, which people are not able to uh, understand and recognize that we have this hidden skin, hidden skill also. So, yeah. ma'am, please, uh, can you t give us some tips and tricks to how to overcome uh, that fear and how to know that we can also do something that we also mm -hmm. possess some skill? Okay, so. This is uh, very normal. We all have such kind of a skill which I, we are not aware of, and that is the reason why mentor is important in our life. A mentor can, when you are talking to them, when you are interacting with them, they will know ki what skills you have, what potential you have, and they will guide you. So that is the reason I.
Yeah, am I audible now? Shraddha, am I audible Yes, ma'am, you are, you are audible. Huh. Again, in some electricity issue is happening. Jeremy and Nasra, please un switch on your camera. Thank you so much for all the questions and to our respected speaker for sharing with us such pivotal and versatile knowledge. I would like to thank Professor Dr. Kumkum Rima, our guest speaker, along with all the faculty, student coordinators, and a wonderful audience for this successful session. We hope yeah, that uh, this workshop. Just to say, uh, Jeremy, Professor Pooja Parma is to be thanked. You forgot. Yeah. I would like to thank Professor Dr. Kofun Bray, our guest speaker, Dr. Pooja Verma, along with all the faculty, student coordinators, and a wonderful audience for this successful session. We hope that this workshop reshapes our perspectives. The assignments have been posted and the submission of them is solicited. Kindly complete and submit it latest by 8 p.m. today. The assignments must be completed on time to be considered a certification. Now we have reached the end of the third day of this workshop. This brings us to the end of the second last day of this 28 day workshop. We look forward to conducting more such workshops and staying connected, not just via such workshops, but also through knowledgeable and productive sessions and otherwise to keep this healthy relation maintained. Stay tuned with us. Tomorrow, that is 28th July 2023, we have Ms. Apurva Shukla as the guest speaker. Till then, we wish you health and a good life ahead. We'll again meet you tomorrow, wishing everyone a fruitful day ahead. Tumbu, ma'am, I'm so sorry because there were so many times this got disruptive. <laughs>